Hi, and welcome to the Mobile Developer Builder Series. My name is David Ha, and I'll be your guide as we build a mobile application together on the Now platform. Today, we'll be walking through the very first few steps in building a new navigation function. Today, we're gonna to create a navigation to jump from one report to another and quickly pull information on that record. For this example, we're gonna build a parameterized data item to pass the value of the sys ID of an employee into a new report that will show employee directory. So that every time I tap on the assigned to field on the active instance field, it will automatically take me to a new report that will show me additional information on that employee. We're gonna do this by first creating a new list applet with a parameterized data item, then create a navigation and lastly, associate this navigation to the active instance applet so that I can jump from the assigned to field to a report on that employee. So now, let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is quickly build a parameterized data item. We'll start by opening up the data item pop-up button on our left-hand navigation panel. We'll click create new. Let's go ahead and name this employee lookup. We want to pull the sys ID of an employee, so let's pick the sys user table. And then we'll go ahead and click save in the top right. Next, let's add a parameter for sys ID. We'll name this sys ID. It's gonna be a string type field, and then we'll click save in the bottom right. And now this uh, parameter will be our placeholder variable to take users from the assigned to field to the sys user table. So now let's map the sys ID from the sys user table to the sys ID parameter that I just created using our contextual reference icon. So in our query condition, we'll pull sys ID and we'll map it using this contextual reference icon to sys ID. And then we'll click save in the top right. And now we have our parameterized data item. Our next step is to create a visualization for this data item. So let's go ahead and create an applet on our left hand navigation panel. We'll select this pop out icon We'll click create an applet. We want to display information using the employee directory view. So let's go ahead and name this employees. And then we'll choose our icon and color. And then we'll select the employee directory screen template. And once we're done, we'll click new. And then for the data item, we'll select the parameterized data item that we just created, which is employee lookup. And now we get to select the fields that we want to display on this employee directory applet. For the first layer view, the most important information to us are avatar, name, title, and department. And on this template, E1 is expecting an avatar or image type field. So let's set avatar to E1. For E2, we'll bring over name. E3 is title. And E4 is department. And now let's configure our detail screen, clicking on this tab here. Let's go ahead and replicate from primary. And then in the body, we'll bring over a couple additional fields. Let's bring over email, as well as mobile phone. And then we'll finish up by clicking save in the top right. So what I've built just now is an employee applet where I have to type in the sys ID of an employee to pull their information. Let me show you what this looks like on the Asian app. Back on our device, we'll refresh the home screen. We'll click into mobile builder and into the employees applet. And immediately, I see that it asks to search for the employee by their sys ID. But as you can see, this isn't super useful or relevant since we don't know the sys ID off the top of our head. What we wanna do instead is to be able to click on the sign to employee in which it'll pass the sys ID into this report and it'll open up the details on that employee. Let me show you how we can do this on Studio. We'll hop back into Studio and in on the top next to properties, we'll go ahead and turn off the display. We'll click yes to turn off the display and then we'll click save on the top right. Jumping back into our mobile applet, let's go ahead and refresh our home screen. We'll click into mobile builder and now we no longer see our employees applet. Next, let's create a navigation from my active instance to the employee directory applet. Back on Studio, let's create a navigation on our left-hand navigation panel. We'll click on this pop-out icon here. We'll click Create New. And let's go ahead and name this to employees. The applet that we navigate to will be the employees applet. 
And then for the contacts, it's going to be record because the report we're navigating to requires contacts from the current record that we're in. Then I'll choose where I want to show this, which is the incident table. And if I wanted to set any conditions, I can do that here. But we'll go ahead and leave this blank for now. Now we'll click save in the top right. Once we've clicked save, you'll see this parameter settings pop up. I need to pick the parameter that I'm passing to get into this new report. So let's open up the sys ID parameter here and configure our redirection parameter. For the type, it's going to be field. In the source field, we're, go we're going to go ahead and select the assigned to because we're navigating from the assigned to employee of that instant using the sys ID parameter. Let's go ahead and select assigned to. And then we'll click save in the bottom right. So now every time we click on the assigned to on the incident applet, it'll automatically take the sys ID of the employee and take me to the employee applet with details on that employee. Now that we have our navigation configured, let's go ahead and click save in the top right. And the very last step is to associate this navigation uh, to the active instance applet. To get started, let's open up my active instance applet. We want to associate the navigation as a field action on our detail screen. So under our detail screen tab, let's click into functions. And let's go ahead and put this under our field functions. We're going to select the assigned to field. And then we'll select the navigation that we just created. And then we'll click done. Now all we have to do is click save on our top right. And then open this up on our device. Back on our device, let's go ahead and refresh the home screen. We'll tap into mobile builder and then into active instance. Let's open up this first instant here. And now you'll see that you can navigate on the assigned to field. If I click onto it, it'll take me to the employee directory applet that I just built. If I click into this employee, I can see the details that are brought over as well. And in just minutes, we just created our very first navigation function that lets me navigate from one report to another at the top of a button. And that wraps up our quick introduction to navigation functions. Thank you for watching.